In this video, I'll show you how to use your Starlink app with your Unify network. If you saw my previous video, you know that I installed Starlink with my Unify network. One of the things that Starlink does is it comes with an app, the Starlink app. Hey, um, that app gives you, uh, vis you know, visuals of ping times, of outages, of where the obstructions are for DISHU, so that what are causing the outages, how long are the outages, um, how many satellites can you see, are there no satellites inside, all that sort of stuff. Uh, you can do speed tests, of course. Now this, uh, Starlink app works with the Wi-Fi router that comes with Starlink and I've obviously disconnected this as you saw in the previous video um, to hook up Starlink connection with my Unified network so the app stopped working but I still wanted to use it and I found out how so uh, it's really simple if you have a, U a Unified device like a Cloud Key or UDM Pro so let me just show you how I set it up and how you can get your Starlink app to work again with Starlink on your Unify network. So this is my Unify network controller. We need to set up a static route that points any request for the specific IP address to go back to Dishy. Because that's what the app wants. It looks for an IP address and then it wants to talk to Dishy directly because that's where the modem is. So I go into Advanced Features, and if I scroll to the bottom here, I go into Advanced Gateway Settings, and I need to set up a static route. So I click on Create New Static Route. Give it a name, so we can call this Starlink Dishy, for example. Distance, that's the administrative distance, so that's a way of basically prioritizing routes. So there are routes that are more important, they come first, kind of thing. I'm going to give this a distance of 10 so that if there are routes that have like a priority 1 or 2 or something, they can actually overwrite this if you need to. So I don't break anything on an existing network. Now the destination network, so that's the IP address that Dishy has or that the app is looking for. So we're going to go 192.168.100.1. That's the actual IP address, but this has to be a fully qualified uh, IP or you know local local IP address with as a CIDR notation. So we're going to give it a, a bit mask of 32. That means that it actually only masks the last bit and it's going to be only one address. So that is the 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 IP address that I just put. But anyway, that's how you have to notate it. And then I need to give it a static route type of interface because we're going to route the traffic back to an interface. And in this case, you choose your WAN. So for my, for me, this is WAN, not WAN2. Or you could choose a LAN as well, a VLAN. Uh, but I'm going to choose WAN. And now that's all you have to do. Just apply changes. And now your Starlink app will work with, on your Unify network. It really is that simple, but tricky to find out. So excellent. Let me know in the comments if you found another way to get it working. And also don't forget to subscribe and like and all that. So um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. In this video, I show you how to Bravo Nigger, Uber Brimley, Egg Kaka Labalu.